Last time on Dude, Where's My Sub? Hey, is that Karumi? Dang, she looking kinda bad though. Hello everyone and welcome back to Master Detective Archives Rain Code. After completing last episode, we were revealed. Well, there's a lot of revealing going on. Oh my, I will get to that. Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. They didn't save it till the last chapter of the game, bro. They're making a homunculus, and I've done some research on exactly what a homunculus is, and it's nasty. Oh. Someone's dream on the street corner. Oh my god. Yeah, what? People, people actually ideal try to fight against the peace like tears flooding the city. Well, I guess they don't succeed. <laughs> Maybe there's some freedom fighters or something? Oh man, it's just one thing after another with this game. No one can be saved this way. Who's that? Oh my Someone god, so Dang, that was us. As they drown in a melted dream. How do we get out of the sub, by the way? Oh my god. That uh that was the most obscure start yet. No longer a detective. Whoa. So we're dealing with the water here. For sure. Oh, hey, I'm glad you dressed yourself. That was quite refreshing. A bath is like a fleeting dream. Do you have those often? Fleeting dreams or baths? Hopefully you do. Your sweat and past are washed away. You're born anew. Would you like to join me next time? I'm good. No, thanks. Mm -mm. Sorry, I'm, I mean, I'm not taken, but there's this girl I really like. <laughs> Yuma's just so in love with Karumi, he tells everyone he knows. <laughs> oh, if you're embarrassed about taking off your clothes, you can hop in with them on. That is a kind gesture, but I'm okay. I do that once every three times anyway. Oh, oh, oh. Um, who are you? No, really, what is going on? Oh, if you want to know who I am, does that mean you wish to be friends with me? I don't know if I do yet. That's not how this works, usually. F friends? Uh, what is this? Is this guy a villain? I mean, he's gotta be, but... He doesn't seem like a peacekeeper guy. Yes, I want to be your friend. How about you? Bro, this is stranger danger territory. He's just saying, yeah, you can come on. You can, you can come over to my place, take a bath anytime you like. You can keep your clothes on or not, it's fine. I want to be friend like dog. I, I, I'm uncomfy. Uh -huh. I, That's the uh, point though, I'm pretty sure. I think you should avoid sketchy guys like that. You're just gonna end up joining the pyramid scheme or something. Yeah, dude, those are so on the rise. I can't believe it, but people, people are still doing that. Oh, that's right. I haven't introduced myself yet. Yeah, you go first. I'm sorry. It's been so long since I've built personal relationships that I don't remember the procedure. Are, are you the homunculus? Because homunculuses, they, they do not age, supposedly, in mythology, but... My name is Makoto Kagatsuchi. Makoto. Nice to meet you. What is up with Kodaka in the name Makoto? And Kagasuchi, isn't that like... Isn't that Fire God? That is a really crazy name you got there, buddy. Even for a Japanese guy. <laughs> this is... Also his mask moves. He's very disturbing. But let's not judge him too harshly. Oh, I'm on edge. Hi, I'm Yuma Cocohead. Hmm, Yuma. Master, maybe you should comment on his mask. He's probably waiting for you to do that. No, that's rude. He's wearing it for a reason. Shinigami, you have no class. Um, about that mask. Oh, this? Interested? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. This is like a family heirloom to me. It has quite a history. Really? It is said my family has demonic blood flowing through us. Normal people who gaze upon my face lose their sanity. What? How literal is that? That's why I must keep my face hidden, or I can't even hold a normal conversation. So, so do you have other family members? Makoto, it's my turn to use the mask. I got a date. Okay, Susie. Kagasuchi, here you go. Uh, then you'd all go crazy. Uh, I can't. So what is this demonic blood, you might ask? I did my own research on the matter. It goes back 500 years. Back then, this land was comprised of over 200 kingdoms, great and small. Are you pulling my leg? What is this? Uh, um, 
I think I got it uh, now. Thanks. No, keep going. That was so what? Oh. Uh, are you sure? I mean, I have really tragic backstory. I'd love to tell you it. Uh, this guy's worse than I thought. Where are we anyway? Good question. Excuse me. Where are we right now? Hmm? This is my home. You live in a hotel. Well, I guess it could be an apartment. It's the highest point in town. There? The top floor of Kanai Tower. What? I I didn't think. Oh my god, that means this guy probably is Kanai employee. Oh no, or uh, Amaterasu. The top floor of that tower? Are you serious? He's like Stark levels rich. Hey, let's take a selfie while we're here. I'm good. Why am I here? Does you even have a phone? I assumed you were playing in the river. However, it's not good to get carried away. And so you rescued us. How did you see? Well, I guess he had an aerial view, but what? You were lying by the riverbank in tatters. One of my men just happened to find you. One of your men? Are you part of? Are, are you a part of the mob? So I had you brought here. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if we just let you die. Oh, he's got such a. Such a big heart. You're here from the lowest part of town to the highest. How does it feel to have traveled between heaven and hell? Um, where are the others? Was anyone else there besides me? Oh no. There was no one else. Bro. There's no way they killed... I mean, I said that on the train! I see. But F Fubuki and Twilight. Chief Yako. Oh, and the others, yeah. Tetsuhiko. Kubuki, Vivia, I hope they're all okay. It's all my fault. Yeah, I can't even say it's not. The peacekeepers have it out for us because I've been butting into cases, pretending to be a detective. If I'd followed the chief's advice and stayed put at the agency, none of this would have ever happened. For once, I can't even disagree. It is understandable. He would feel terrible in this situation. I empathize. There you go. Acting like some tragic heroine again. He's just effing mad at himself. Let him just sort out his emotions, Shinigami. The only people who'd give you any sympathy for that shtick are the possessive types drawn to the naive. Oh. Okay. So it's like that? Just forget about it all and be positive. Say you have amnesia and reset your past. Well, I mean, he's pretty good at that. After losing my memories, the Nocturnal Detective Agency was the one place where I felt like I belonged. I know, right? They're like his little family, even if they were all mean and stupid, but... If that's gone, I don't know what to do. Hey, you're lucky to be alive. Compared to the other dead detectives, that is. They're alive. I know they are. They're not dead. They have to be alive somewhere. For real. There's no... <laughs> but I don't know. Oh, we have lots of visitors today. Oh, you got company. You might want to hide for now, Yuma. What? Hide? Why? What is going on in this room? You don't want to go play in the river again, do you? What does that mean? What do you mean by that? Oh my god, Yuma, stop. Master, I've got a bad feeling about this. Do as you're told and hide. What's about to happen? But where am I supposed to hide? Uh, uh... Where should I hide? Whoa! You have to pick? Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, can you hold his breath? That's... No. Okay. God, this place is giant, though. There's got to be somewhere. Hold up. Maybe upstairs? Oh, you can't go upstairs. Darn it. Hurry up, I'm trying! That's not a hiding place. Oh, oh my God. Yuma, hurry! <laughs> Here. 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 Yes, I don't know what room this is. Okay, perfect. That's just where we came from. You monster. You cube That's fetishist. The director of the peacekeepers. I'll never forgive you. you. I'll never forgive you. Dude, I had nightmares about that cube thing. I'm not gonna lie. It messed me up, bro. It's rare to see you all the way up here. Maybe this means we'll get a bright and sunny day tomorrow. Well, a damn good day to you as well, masked man. Or is trick or treat the proper way to greet a mask lover like you? Dang, he's he's got good he's got fire lines, you know me. God. So what brings you here? If it's a treat you're looking for, I have some homemade cookies. <laughs> Yo, I kind of like, big man, little Mac kind of spitting though. I'm just saying he's kind of funny. Unfortunately, I only accept tricks. I heard a rumor that you're hiding a detective. 
That couldn't be true, could it? What? Who squealed? Detective, whatever do you mean? Oh, let's go, little Mac. Come on, come on. <laughs> you think you can hide your expression behind a mask? You're as creepy as ever. Hey, yo, yo, look who's talking, man. Come on. If you weren't in this city, by now I'd be... <sighs> I'll be back. The peacekeepers are always watching you. Wow. He did it. Lomac! Yuma, you can come out now. Let's go! Hey, yo, he, just, he said that? Like, were they still in earshot? That was kind of fast. Are you sure? I mean, are you not pranking me? Okay, yeah, we're good. <laughs> He's even, look at him. He's even the same height as Yuma. That could be buddies, but I'm pretty sure this guy's a part of the mafia. Or something. That was the director of the Peacekeepers, wasn't it? You know him? He seems like you talk a lot, actually. Hmm. Our relationship isn't so shallow that he's a mere acquaintance, but I wouldn't call it a friendship either. Yeah, yeah, you say, you say friendship for like, you know, you and me, you know, because we're, we're such good buddies, little Mac. Please, please, can you help me find my friends? I miss them. If I must call it something, I'd say he's like a shadow. We all have our own inseparable shadows, right? Mm, trust me, buddy, I know a lot about that. Who are you? Well, I'm just a man living at the highest point in town. Do you need to know more than that? Mm, how you got here is the next question, but you don't have to answer. That doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> you sure are honest. <laughs> I love this city more than anyone. And more than anyone, I worry for its future. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot to worry about. That's why I feel so gloomy about it all. Like the sky, a cold rain falls within my heart. By the way, I hear that you're a detective. I didn't know they still existed in this town. Yeah, I'm kind of no around here. It's just... Oh, I guess... Uh, sorry. I guess he's not the... You know... A homunculus if he was talking about his 500 year old demon blood or whatever I don't know why I'm so drawn to this dude it can't just be the name Makoto because there's another Makoto I know I'm not a fan of so what's this guy's deal I'm a trainee there are other detectives much better than me oh somewhere out there oh come on Yuma naturally this means you have some knowledge about this place I suppose so, yes. I've been to a high school and a clock tower. That's about it. Even as we speak, a disaster strikes Kanai Ward. Wait, what? You could say Amaterasu Corporation is responsible. For years now, the tragedies occurring in this city are the result of an upset of the power balance within Amaterasu. The power balance? The company has gotten too big. Each segment has grown increasingly independent and now lacks overall cohesion. Oh, there's factions. As I always saw in the opening, it was like a... Like a dispute of some kind? Well, obviously, but... As a result, the power structure has been completely thrown off balance. Amidst it all, the peacekeepers took charge. They've imposed strict rules within the company and eliminated anyone who refused to obey. The corporation was on the brink of collapse, but the peacekeepers managed to regain order. Darn it. So if there's no peacekeepers, I mean... They're really the root of everything. And I'm sure you can easily imagine what happened after that, right? That order took hold over all of Kanai Ward. You're a sharp one, detective. They fly the banner of order and force laws only convenient to themselves on the people. That's terrible. Both Amaterasu Corporation and Kanai Ward belong to them now. They do as they please. They can overturn laws on a whim, which permitted bribes to be exchanged at a rampant pace. It's... It's like a band-aid for a bullet wound. They just made it... They made it, like, way worse. This is why the city continues to erode away. So much so that this gloomy rain cannot wash it clean. I thought the peacekeepers were like a police force, but they hold much more power than that. This is really eye-opening. I mean, I feel like we're getting it from reliable, you know, informant. As their name suggests, in the beginning the peacekeepers were a single department that handled security. They changed and grew into the powerful organization they are today. 
because there was a need for it. After Kanai Ward's isolation, Amaterasu needed to become stronger and more ruthless to protect their secrets. Taking advantage of the corporation's supply routes, the peacekeepers began trading with the military industry. Wow, they sound like some dictatorship's army. Before anyone realized, they were the most powerful force around. I'm sure they saw everyone else as incompetent, which led them to believe that those with the power should rule. It's a hostile takeover in every sense of the worst. We just eliminate Yomi, won't they kind of just devour themselves? You know, well, someone would just take his place. The shadow that hangs over this city is none other than the threat of the peacekeepers. Their tyranny continues to this day. They will never stop, even after they've gained control over everything. So that's the situation the city is enduring. At this rate, Kanai Ward will continue to decay. More innocent civilians will fall victim to them. That's why I want to stop the peacekeepers on this reckless path of theirs. I do so as a citizen who loves Kanai Ward. Are you just a citizen, though? I mean, I'm not one to vouch for the people that literally just shot us with a torpedo, but... How does an ordinary citizen even have that type of leverage? Like, what are you... What are you, bruh? I need the help of people like you. <sighs> I don't think you do. Also, you just learned I'm a detective. I, I smell, I don't know. Now I'm kind of fishy about this guy. Like me? I mean detectives. He needs detectives? Something about this sounds fishy. Mm-hmm. What do you mean by that? In Kanai Ward, the only ones that can stand up to the peacekeepers are outsiders like yourself. That's why, in order to save this city, I need your cooperation. You need an outsider. Why? Detectives are the only ones who can save this place. Uh, uh, that is what I believe. But what about you? Dog, hold on. I mean, maybe like, I don't know, an army of some kind to fight off the peacekeepers and stop the homunculus project? I don't know. Yeah, all I got is a saber and I can't even use that in the real world. Save this city. I mean, that'd be kind of cool. So, I mean, Kurumi could, you know, go, go go get ice cream on Sunday and get a Sunday split. I... Chief Yako also asked the same thing. If their goals are the same... No, Yuma, you can't just assume this guy is a... I don't know. Oh, hold it right there, Master. You're gonna agree just like that? I know, we, do, we lack clues. I, I just... But he's asking for my help as a detective. I have to respond. This is why you always get into trouble, Yuma. I swear to God. You. Eh, heck it. What's the worst that could happen? Jeez, think about it for a sec. But he said he needs my help. I must help him with every fraction of my life. Oh. The way he's talking, he probably works for Amaterasu. In other words, you're not sticking your neck out for an impossible crime here. It's just a spat between adults. Right, and who's to say Makoto replacing the peacekeeper is going to be worse? What do you think you can do about it? I don't know, find a... Find a... If people's wives are cheating on them and... Tell them about it, I guess. Uh, but we should at least talk to him about it first. He's obviously taking advantage of you. Oh, you're so gullible. Listen, detectives need to suspect others all the time. Besides, can you really trust anybody in a mask like that? Mm, dang it, I'm agreeing with Shinigami again. He's not normal. Everything feels so ominous about this. You're better off not associating with him. Trust me on this. It's rare for you to be so absolutely against something. Maybe she senses something but can't tell us that directly? I owe you a lot for saving my life, and it's true. I don't know him enough to be sure if he's trustworthy. Oh, this reminds me. Speaking of detectives, is number one in town as well? What? How do you... How do you know about him? Huh? Number one? You think I got that type of clearance? I mean the guy at the top of the World Detective Organization. Things would go much faster if he were here. <sighs> Dang, throw me under the bus. Shoot, I might be number one. I just forgot I was. So he might be. Uh -huh. Shinigami, I'm, I'm concerned. You're actually showing concern for Yuma. Oh, 
you know about number one? I thought you were referring to the restroom. <laughs> huh? Don't you? I've only heard of him recently. I don't know much about him. I see. Well, that's no surprise. He's a shut-in who rarely appears out in public. But if you get the chance to talk to him, please ask him to come visit soon. Yeah, sure thing, boss. Uh, tell him his son is in trouble. What? Son? You- <laughs> I'm joking. I figured. Man, that's just dumb. Anyway, I've kept you here too long. Number one having demon blood, though. Could explain a little bit. If you're looking for your missing friends, you better move fast. That's right. I have to go look for everyone. I need to get going. Thank you for saving me. No problem. Don't worry about it. But please, consider cooperating with me. Mm, I think I gotta talk to Yako before I go any further. I mean, he would know best. R right. Uh, uh, can I get a card or something? I, I know where you live, I guess, now. Uh, <laughs> oh, also, I should ask you this while I'm here. Do you have any idea what Kanai Ward's ultimate secret could be? <laughs> I know I've been asking a lot of you, but... Or does the word homunculus no, sound familiar no, to don't you? don't go around saying that! You my bad! <clears throat> Ooh, he overextended! No, I have no idea. Sorry, I couldn't... You be. got him, Yuma! You caught him! Oh. I see. Did you not hear that? <laughs> it kind of sounds like a beat. You know, but now go on and look for your friends. Right. I think I'm gonna do the opposite, just to spite you. Well, no, I. Crap, I need to do that. Well, crap, he wins. Where'd the music go? Hmm. So that's my. Hmm. Origin story? You're the homunculus? Is that it? I thought there would be more emotion involved. What? What? Excuse me? I'm gonna be thinking about that all day. I'm gonna- I, I'm literally gonna be thinking about that. Oh no, what? What is that just- what did he even just say? He's gotta be the homunculus, right? The demon blood could just be a ruse. Like a- like a- like a- like a haha -ha, silly thing. The building is? The elevator took forever to come down. <laughs> Since he lives on the top level of this tower, he can't be an ordinary person. Makoto Kagutsuchi. Who is he? If the boss doesn't know, I'm willing to bet, yeah, he is the homunculus. How is he connected to Amaterasu Corporation? He brushed it off, but he's affiliated with them. He knows that dangerous peacekeeper's director. Not to mention, he knew an awful lot about the internal workings of the corporation. He talked about saving the city, but is he on our side? Or could he be... Either way, you're better off not getting involved. Agreed. Oh, let's sleep in God's lie, as they say. Uh, is, is that a saying? Are you sure you're one to say that? Uh, oh, you're right! <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm worried about Chief Yako. Let's go back to where the detective agency was at the riverbank. Mm, do you think they'd really be there? I, I would check the hotel the first. They're cool. fine. They must be. Yeah, they want to design those models just to- it's a, Okay, ba bad example. But come on, we've hardly done the gumshoe gabs, like for real. I want to do them. God dang it, speaking of, now might actually be a good time to do one. Don't I have one that's just kind of outstanding at the moment? Ah, oh, yes, I do. And it's with Halara. We met with Halara here, right? But, I mean, we're in chapter... I don't even know anymore. Like, three. Technically, chapter four. I feel like we should start doing these so I don't have to spam them all at the end. Because truth be told, I do want to get to know these characters more. There's so many mysteries still about them. Halara, what was with the kitty pick? Other than they just like cats and dogs. Maybe it's a picture of their long lost kitty. Oh wow, we're actually in this location in- what? That's funny. I did you not plan that. Some nerve stopping me. Whoa, whoa, what? There better be a proper reason for this. I just want to show this cat I found. Hey, look at him. He's like, oh, he's trying to give you a kiss. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's about something you mentioned. You developed postcognition just three days after joining the World Detective Organization. Yes. 
But I still had the gift of psychometry before I joined the WDO. What made you want to ask about it? I can't help thinking about it. Do I really lack a forte? You have that coalescence ability. Uh, that's not exactly my ability. It's different. Just sort of. Change subject, change subject. Anyway, You're gonna I die. refuse to believe I don't have a real forte. Dang, Yuma really got that main character syndrome. No, I have to be special. I have to have a quirk. So you want to find out if you do? Yeah, is there like a test where we take like some water and... You know, if I can turn it into tea, then yeah, I have a special forte. You know what I mean? Like Yes, that's right. I figured you'd be the most knowledgeable about fortes here. Why? If I have any sort of ability, you may be able to help me remember it. That's no good. There you go again, depending on others. Oh. Very well. That'll be 100,000 chance. Yeah, never mind. All right, Gumshoe Gab's over. <laughs> Just fades to black. <laughs> One hundred thousand? I figured Halara wouldn't do it for free, but it's worth it if it helps me remember my abilities. Right. In a situation like right effing now, it could have been helpful to track down the other detectives and regroup. All right. But we know now, pretty much anything inside the gumshoe gabs is... Well, it happened, but it's not... Like, it's not going to change the outcome of the story, so I don't think, you know... In a writing perspective, it is hard to write for these. I'm a bit short at the moment, but I'll pay you back one day. Oh, I'm very aware that you're very short. <laughs> that was rude of me. I apologize. Good. It's a deal. <laughs> I will provide you useful information as long as time permits. Now, let's start with the prerequisites. Master detective abilities are often linked with original talents and dispositions. That is typically the case. Linked with original talents? Take, for example, a master detective who can hear the thoughts of others. Prior to awakening that ability, they excelled at imagining what other people were actually feeling. A master detective who can create electricity may have had a tendency to emit static charges before that. Oftentimes, you can catch glimpses of their power before their forte is realized. Right. But there could be so many things. I mean... I don't know, unless you just observe every action you do. The prerequisite for my post-cognition was psychometry. I was practically born with it. Halara, you already started with such an amazing ability. But how did you manage to get it in the first place? It's hard to explain. Superior detectives like myself cannot be measured by a commoner's logic. Superior, eh? I see. Anyway, this is about your ability. Once we figure out your strengths and talents, we could at least predict what your power may be. That is, if you have one to begin with. Right, and I'm paying you 100,000 Xi'an to just tell me, oh, you're not that talented. Dang, speaking of pyramid schemes, Halar is pulling one right now. My strengths? Um... He's got sick dance moves. You gotta admit, with Shinigami, like, I mean, she was leading, but still. You know. <laughs> it has to be what you know best. Think about it. Hmm. He's so bo he's he's not boring, but he's just so average. You know what I mean? Like I I couldn't even pretend to guess it. My strengths are. Oh, wherever you gotta pick some things. Oh yeah, he can cook. <laughs> physical strength. <laughs> My physical strength. <laughs> <laughs> With those noodle arms. Hey, hold up, hold up. Then how about an arm wrestling match? Don't blame me if I rip your hands off. Man, screw you, Halara. Uh, I think I'll pass. Uh, okay, okay, let's do If I had to pick something, I'd say the will to never give up. But also his cooking. His cooking, what happened to that? At least I think so. He is. He's pretty darn tenacious, I will give him that. <laughs> actually said it out loud yourself. Oh my god. What, what sounds lame about that? Being ten a lot of people give up. I see. The fact that you haven't given up on your search for an ability is proof enough of that. Oh goodness. Hot and cold with this one. Jeez. A tenacious heart that never gives up. An ability stemming from that. Hmm. Maybe can rapidly heal, but... What? Yeah, that's his power, dude. He gets his head chopped off like 20 times in those labyrinths. He just shrugs it off. He's like, huh, it happens. 
Perhaps it could have something to do with immortality. Yeah! Immortality? That's nothing but my theory, though. Even death cannot defeat you. Wouldn't you say that embodies the concept of tenacity well? Wow, Halara. I, I thought you were just, like, scamming me, but... A death god and a detective who will never give up till he finds the truth. That's... Wow. That's true. But there's no way to verify if I am or not. <laughs> well, you survived a submarine exploding! Incorrect. You just need to try dying once. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I was joking. Just like I was joking when I ripped your arm off. I mean, I could, but I, I'd never do that. It's really hard to tell. <laughs> well, that should do it. I'll excuse myself here. Don't forget, you owe me 100,000 Xi'an. Someone in the comments, what is our total debt at? I think it is like 400,000. Oh, wait! Oh, <laughs> gone. I'm beginning to worry more about my debt than if I can remember my ability. <laughs> Master, you and Alara seem to have grown even closer. True. But at the same time, if we do have immortality abilities, we got more than a lifetime to work off the debt. So, you know, I'm just saying. But back to little Mac. If he's the homunculus, why would he know that, you know, Yuma had that ability, or like, you know, that's what he was. Maybe he's just never heard the term before, but I, I did do some digging into the origins of what a homunculus is. It's a, more or less just a part of just alchemist mythology that, yes, you can take, and this is gonna get kinda nasty, y'all, a male sperm from a human and put it somewhere but anyway they did that and supposedly made a dwarf human that could never age never die and one of the illustrations of it was a little interesting the head on this one i don't know just the resemblance yeah Are, is spike shoots off going for a extended universe i don't think so but that was just one wait you're Ichiban Sunbay? Okay, anyway, let's move out. We also have some hints for other gumshoe gabs for Fubuki and Vivia. Now you notice it's not the first row hint. So Solar and Lunar Wink reminds me of the hotel. And for Vivia, I guess can't live without books. I mean, that's either a library or some sort of bookshop. So while we're looking for them, I'll also be on the lookout for, well, those things. However, oh, oh, whoa, I almost forgot about you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, for some reason, I thought that was Kurumi. I you ran away when he saw me the other time, too. Maybe you did something? I don't think so. He's a complete stranger. You sure you don't need to hurry to the riverbank? You might find Buzzhead's corpse and then some. No, no, I... that's not true. What the? the ominous stuff like that. <laughs> Sorry, I ruined the mood. I just, I just love to dance. What can I say? <laughs> what was that? And why did they run when they saw me? I, I, I don't know. It's not like you're gonna figure it out by standing around here thinking about it. I mean, they can't be the homunculus. Shouldn't you be worried about Buzzhead and the others? I really should be, but I. Th that's right. I have to get to the agency. God, now I'm gonna be like, hmm, Fabuki's the homunculus. Kurumi, when was your birthday? Do you know? And are you the homunculus? You look kind of small. Okay, so this is Sun and Moon Hotel. Obviously, the memory fragment has to be here somewhere, and I just didn't see it earlier. Mm, I'm looking around, though, and I just can't. Oh, don't tell me. Someone was warning me that they may be locked by chapter, so I might have to do some chapter hopping to get them all. If it comes down to that, obviously I'm going to do that because, well, come on, man. I'm not Johnny Mediocre. What an indescribable smell. Are you going to eat one, Master? Oh, indescribable. I'm getting a weird vibe from these things. Kurumi said she can't live without uh, them. What? You're not eating one after all? What if you anguish over this on your deathbed? What a weird way to think. I don't think I'd regret it that much. Something about this guy, he's a little fishy. Uh, let's keep it real. If 
the meat buns actually did have nano machines that controlled like the masses and made them zombies. Like, would would anyone honestly be surprised at this point? We already have a homunculus. We have all these crazy abilities. We are past the point of normalcy, which honestly I like about the game because once weird things start happening, the possibilities for pretty much the entire game they just they just get crazier and crazier. It could be a science fiction sort of deal. It could be anything. And I found the other bookstore, and there's. A memory fragment. The d oh. Is society really okay? We live in a society. Oh! What? Never mind. I literally just found it. Was that even glowy? I don't think it was. Well, shoot. Let's just check that out. That means... Oh, crap. I gotta check the hotel. Crap. Okay, I didn't know it was like that. Yo, what's up, man? Looking good? Mm. <laughs> Come on, dude. Take a compliment. <laughs> I'm starting to get used to being alone with Vivia. Knowing who he is, this silence isn't really so awkward anymore. That's good. You should be able to be quiet around people that you like, you know. We don't have to force a conversation to break the silence, which makes it easier to be around him than the others. Heck yeah, Yuma. I'm glad he learned this lesson. It took me a while to get to that point with other people. I was like, oh, if I'm not making people laugh, they're gonna get bored. But like, bro, just chill. Ain't gotta be like that. Sometimes, the awkward silence is nice. <sighs> I want to die someday. Uh, not if the awkward silence is brought on like that. Huh? That's awfully sudden. Oh, did I think out loud again? You sure did. Uh, sorry about that. Guess I surprised you. I'll be careful not to think out loud next time. It's okay, it's just part of your charm. <laughs> You're free to say what you want, but it sounds really concerning. And I've been wondering, what do you mean by someday? Hmm? What do you want to know? Why you want to... I don't know. I kind of get it. It is far more enjoyable than being abducted by aliens that can artificially extend my life and force me to perform manual labor. For eons. So yes, I'd like to die some days. <laughs> when you think about it, yeah, I like that. Maybe mortality ain't so bad. Well, all people die eventually. I suppose I'm wondering if you want to die sooner. Saying someday makes it sound like you can't die. Wait, is that what it is? Is that a You can't die? Oh my gosh. That explained why you'd say something so strange. Oh, or a zombie? What? <laughs> That's a wonderful deduction. <laughs> like I was saying, dude, science fiction. What? I guess I'm wrong, though. Well, I don't know about that. What? You see, Yuma, I've yet to die yet. Would you like to test this hypothesis? <laughs> what do you mean? I could be immortal. You never know. Being unable to die sounds like it's straight out of a story. So romantic. We have very defi different definitions of said thematic theme. Yuma, what would you do if you gained everlasting life? Dude, that's the second one. This is all tying back to that homunculus, bro. What would I do if I lived forever? Hmm. See the world a hundred years from now? Talk to people from all over the world. I... I mean, when you really break it down, how many cultures and countries are there? Talking to people from all over the world, you could do that in like three years. Even if you walked, like... Okay, you couldn't cross the oceans, but... I guess, yeah, see the world and how it changes. But you could do that now, right? I'd like to see the future. I want to know what the world would look like a hundred years from now. I see. I've considered that before myself. Is that the right answer? I'd like to see how the world looks when technology advances further. Right. Although at the same time, that could be a scary reality. I'm not sure I'd want to see that. Just thinking about it excites me. Yes, look at Kanai Ward. Yeah, I can't even picture what that would be like. <laughs> This is getting interesting. Anything else? Uh, uh, 
If I had everlasting life, what would I want to do? I can't think of anything in particular. That was quick. <laughs> I've never seen that face from him. Huh? Quick? There is no end to human greed. Whoa, whoa, where did this come from? Some people think that, but it's not true whatsoever. Everything comes to an end. Just like how you couldn't think of anything else you'd want. I think I just meant I didn't have any good ideas right now. Someday, greed will end. Hmm, I've also thought about that too. Just like you would die before your greed could be satiated. Humanity too has a lifespan. Is he talking about, like, technological upheaval, or...? Uh-huh. If you were to live forever, you'd see how tough life can be. Right. It's not a blessing at all. It may be fun at the beginning, but eventually, I'm certain you wouldn't desire anything else. And once you were bored of everything, you'd reach the same conclusion all others would. That you hope to die someday. Uh, I get I, I get it, the catchphrase now. Thank you for the detailed explanation. The moments you lose all desire, your final desire for death would be born. <laughs> it all makes sense now, doesn't it? Dang, bro, hitting us with that memento mori. Alright, we get it. You like Atlas games. I... Does it? <laughs> uh, but wait. Vivia, by that logic, doesn't your desire to die mean you're immortal? Hmm. You're free to think what you want. That's not an answer. I do think his ability does deal with the dead, though. It's enough for today. I need to go back to my world of books. Uh, did he just give me the runaround? Or is he always like this? I can't tell. Hmm. I wonder so if I'll understand him better someday. I, dude, I love this guy already. He's so. <laughs> Master, you and Vivia seem yeah. to grow even closer. He's such a mister. They're all kind of mystery. Oh, I guess even Fabuki is a mystery, but I think that's the thing I've taken away from this game is that, yeah, dude, the mysteries. That was like element number one. Obviously, when you're making a mystery game, but even in the last chapter, yeah, I kind of figured things out eventually, but I'm truly just engrossed in this world and I see it, ooh, a wink! A wink isn't when you're sleeping, it's this, yes, let's go. Mystery solved! We're not gonna do Fubi keys though, because uh, yeah, I don't want this entire episode just to be gabs. That'd be annoying. Like I would not leave you in suspense. Like, are they alive or not? And just not go to the pier, or like the waterway. That would just be messed up. Also, hey. <gasps> That's so lame. It's terrible. The agency is completely blown to pieces. I thought I found a place I could call home. I know, right? Dude, is nothing safe? Like... <sighs> I don't smell any corpses. Oh, thank God. I thought there'd be some around here. <laughs> she sounds so sad. Of course not. Everyone is still alive. Master detectives wouldn't die so easily. I mean, water is water, and it's a sub. Like, the pressure alone. You say that, but didn't they all die on the Amaterasu Express? <laughs> That's... I was thinking the same thing. Messed up. Uh -huh. Oh, who's this? <gasps> hey, yo, we got a van? Scooby-Doo? Oh, no. What? Is that a freaking Dragon Quest elf? What the... F Oh, we are t literally tied like that. We effed up. Bro, what? What? Who? Excuse- they ain't- they ain't friendly! Bro, we were invited to that one guy's apartment. Now we're getting put in white vans. This ain't fun no more, bro. This sucks. I'm a little man Yuma, come on! Master! Oh. Oh my god, what is- Huh? Oh, we're not, like, being tortured. I- Where am I? You're finally awake! Well, I also just woke up. When you go to sleep, so do I. Because we're one and the same! Totally. I remember... I was suddenly thrown into a car <laughs> and... <laughs> She's still just like, yeah, we're one and the same! Just leaving her hanging. Oh my god. I think you let your guard down too much. How many times are you gonna let yourself get knocked unconscious? 
I I can't help it. This city is so weird. Why does this keep happening to me? Who would do such a thing to you? And for what reason? Could it be the peacekeepers? No, dude, look at this base. Look around. It's so dirty here. Yeah, they're all neat and orderly and... I don't know. Clean freaks, honestly. If it's the peacekeepers, they'd probably be sitting on reclining chairs with their feet <laughs> up in a tidy room. True. But if it isn't the peacekeepers, then who? There's that fist, that poster. We can worry about it later. First, we have to get out of here. Like, this might not be that bad. Like, if they're if they're against the peacekeepers, then like, you know. I guess that's fair. Oh. Where am I? Anyway, a... I'd better find a way out of here. What's up with this? Oh yeah, it's just another fist poster. Okay. Hmm. Slapping so many posters in such a tiny room. It's like they're trying to brainwash people. Be careful, master. People like you are susceptible to that sort of thing. Huh? I'm not that simple minded. What? He is definitely not. A pyramid scheme, though, maybe he would fall for, but. Ah, uh, yeah. This is. It's a worn out sofa. Come on. So nasty. Absolutely filthy, aren't you, Master? <laughs> what? Well, at least they gave us a fan. I mean, it could be worse. Just saying, maybe they're not to If the door's unlocked, I bet we're fine. It won't open. Dang it. Seems like it's locked with a padlock or something from the outside. That's not a good sign. Why do they even want to imprison me? I would be scared, Stiv. The floor and the walls don't seem fragile enough to break. And there's no way out through the ceiling either. So we're just stuck here until they decide to show up. Mm, looks like you're stuck in here. Dang it. You are going feeling gloomy about it. Just enjoy it while you can. You could just start smashing stuff. That'd get their attention. <laughs> it's so fun. It's like we're frolicking through the sunlit grass in spring. Why are you... Uh, what? It's hopeless. I'm <laughs> completely stuck. <laughs> In this smelly, moldy place, and I, you know, this couch is so sticky. It's just like everything in my life right now. I'm trapped with no way out. Don't give in to despair, Yuma. Come on. Master looks so lonely right now. It's like he's given up on everything. Hey, can I give you a back tattoo that says "My life is over"? What? Uh, preferably my higher back and not my lower. That would look weird. Sorry, but I'm not really in the mood for your <laughs> antics right now. Oh, oh, dang, just told her straight up. Can you just, like, shut up for, like, a day and a half? Like, come on. What's got you so down anyway? It's not like you had anything to lose in the first place. That's not true. He had companionship. He had buddies. He had Karumi's. Maybe not romantic French. I mean, you know, he's hoping, but, you know, that's still a buddy. Besides me. I, oh my god, you were... Oh, my life's been a mess ever since you started haunting me. Shinigami, what about those other detectives? Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? You said you've haunted other detectives in the past. Oh, right, she does remember that. They all gave up their memories, right? Were they able to achieve their goals using the power you gave them? Uh, I don't really remember the past. I'm the kind who forgets what happened yesterday. Fair enough, I guess, when you're as old as you are. Oh, but there is one detective I distinctly remember. Let me guess, number one. He always liked to say this one thing. I want to eradicate all unsolved mysteries from this world and bring happiness to everyone. Well, I think that's our guy. Huh? I want to make a world where no one weeps while imprisoned by unsolved mysteries. He said that with such sparkling eyes that I laughed out loud. <coughs> you're, the, you're terrible. <laughs> it still makes me laugh as if a single detective could do that. Well, maybe not just him, but if others work together, who knows? Maybe developed an entire institution for that purpose? Just saying. Imprisoned by unsolved mysteries, like the watchmaker's son. Or Kurumi. If those cases remained unsolved, would they have suffered the same fate? So you didn't answer me. What about that detective? Was he able to bring happiness to everyone? Hmm? I don't know. Besides, I don't remember much. Mm, okay. But if you look at how the world is right now, isn't the answer obvious? Right. Okay. 
I guess. Maybe something happened to him? There's no way detectives could make people all over the world happy. They could solve a lot of crimes, though. I'm just saying. It's not all bad. Even in Kanai Ward alone, the number of unsolved mysteries keeps increasing. Right, and it takes us literally stopping time to solve just one. By the time we finish, there's probably two more that pop up. What can detectives even do? Detectives are useless. No, dude, they mitigate suffering and find out when dudes are, are getting cheated on. I mean, you know, and girls are getting cheated on. I'm not, it's not just girls are I, I'm useless. No, no. Come on, dog. Oh, he needs, he needs a hug. Huh? Master, someone's coming. Someone's going to give us a hug? I doubt it. Oh, he looks like he really loves hugs. Oh, Lord, what is going on? Oh, me, if he's that bald, you know he's angry. I'm just saying how it is. Oh, you're awake. Uh, oh, okay. Sorry for getting rough with you. It was necessary at the time. Forgive me. What? Why does he talk like Yako? Is that just me? Like, are they cousins? Well, don't we have quite the character here? They don't look like it. Uh, uh, um, who are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you asked. Consider this. Have you seen a child crying on a street corner? How about a kid wandering with no place to go? What are you getting at? We're a group of volunteers who shed blood so people like that don't have to shed tears. Oh, okay, I thought he was about to say, You ever see a kid on a corner crying with nowhere to go? Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> anyway, hi, I'm Charles. I, I'm glad he didn't say that though. <laughs> That's right. We're the proud resistance against Amaterasu Corporation. All right. Not a huge shock, but it's good to know some people care. Re resistance? And I'm the head honcho. The name's Shachi. Nice to meet you. Yo, what's up? This reminds me. I've seen the flyers all over Kanai Ward. I truly never did. Was I just not paying close enough attention? Huh. Yeah, passing out flyers is an important part of our activity. We need to recruit as many people as possible. Alright, gotta have propaganda to start a movement, you know. Though once we're finally caught by the peacekeepers, we'll probably all hang. Huh? You say that so nonchalantly. <laughs> oh my god. What, what does the resistance want with me? First, let me apologize for not being able to bring you here in a more graceful way. Yeah, that was kind of scuffed, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't like that. But, if I didn't do it this way, I couldn't stay hidden from the peacekeepers. Why did you go to such lengths to see me? Allow me to explain. Please, would you join us at our hideout? I want you to have a little chat with my friends. A sure. hideout? Don't worry. They're all good guys. Are, are we not currently in the hideout, though? Come on. Follow me. Okay. Sure. This is... <laughs> Seems like I'm being dragged into even more trouble. I know, right? We can't catch a break. It doesn't look like you have a choice right now, anyway. I know, they abducted us. We don't know where we are. At least he's the type of guy who's kind to a lost kid. I'm not a kid. Thank God he's not a kid, right? It, he's is not it a kid. really okay to follow him? Master, stop being so indecisive. Hmm. We're somewhere. Deep down, I guess. I mean, underground, totally, but... Mm, this door, it kind of reminds me of the sewers, right? Could be that. Oh, this is getting cool, though. Like, yeah, we already have a target on our back because of the whole Peacekeeper things with, you know... Oh. oh my! It's already morning. The sun rose while you were fast asleep. I was totally wrong. We're not in the sewers at all. What is this place? It's like... Whoa, it's like a slum. What the heck is the purpose of that pipe? <laughs> the whole area is submerged. It looks like stagnant rainwater that didn't drain. Do people actually live here? It's quite the difference from where we started this chapter, huh? Only weirdos who carve up animals could live in a place like this. Is this your first time in Doya District? Doya? Doya District? In short, it's what you'd call the slums like this thanks to Amaterasu Corp. The people here are forced to live in the backwaters. Literally backwaters, yeah. They don't seem to care one bit about the unending rain. Of 
course they don't. They're all living high up, looking down on us. All the dirt and grime they spit out flows down from the city and ends up swirling around here. Don't worry, the very direct symbolism is not lost on me, Shaiji. This is the reality of Kanai Ward. Kanai Ward's reality. Come on, our hideout is this way. Sounds good. Our dream is to change oh. Doya district oh. scenery. We want to help the poor smile again. This is huge. We call ourselves the resistance, but it would be better for everyone if things can get resolved without a fight. You know that won't happen, though. I doubt the peacekeepers feel the same way, though. Right. They're always striving to crush us. You're outnumbered, dude. That's why we armed ourselves and prepared to fight back. Oh, my. We don't know when this fight will end. We don't know if we'll still be able to smile when it does. We may not have the answers, but we have to keep fighting. Right. We were born and raised here, after all. Yeah, you're not just gonna back down. Oh my god, the real world implications of this. Man, I'm kinda... This game got so real so fast. Oh. Yo, well, I'm just a... I mean, he's literally just a detective. I know we've been saying that, but like, we don't know nothing, bro. We're also not way, even a real detective. From? I don't know that, actually. Um, some stuff happened, so I don't have a place to go home right now. <laughs> oh yeah, true. Oh, so you're like us then. Guess that kind of makes us buddies. Totally. Well, I'm not so sure about that. Oh, gosh, Yuma. Might we wouldn't choose your words carefully. But I suppose the Resistance and the yes, Detective Agency are both being oppressed by Amaterasu. Our goals and aspirations differ, but we're kind of like friends in that regard. Yeah. Master, you're a professional loner, so you don't need any friends. What? What's a professional loner? What does that mean? I think she just doesn't want you to have any other friends, so you have nothing. Dude, she's toxic. Treat less like property, bro. Hey, good work being Messed on the lookout. Up. Anyway. This is our hideout. Come on in. The resistance is hideout. It's a bit scary, but it'll be fine. There's no running away now. <laughs> I can say that, but I'm not in Yuma who's like what, four level? <laughs> nah. Actually, is his height stated? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he forgot his height. I don't know. Point being, it's a big world, but you're not that big yourself. I think that's obvious. I'm not trying. I, I clearly, I, I clearly love this character a little too much. But eh? any familiar faces in here? Nope, just barrels. Darn it! Seriously, where, where is Yako? I'm worried. Where are you keeping him? Oh, oh, okay. All right. It's time for a revolution. Oh, hey, that voice. Don't start a revolution here. Oh, no. They're just still... I lost again. Dumping out characters, bro. Also, oh my god. <laughs> a boob tattoo looks like it would hurt a lot. Just throwing that out there. Like, dude... Ow! Ow! Just think about that! What the... Hey, you're all here. Great timing since the game's over. Listen up. I need to introduce someone to all of you. That is just someone straight up, Grandpa. Hello there. I love the young people. <laughs> Behold, Yuma here is a master detective of the WDO. Yo, he is loud for running a secret organization. Just throwing that out there. Huh? Wait, I'm not... <laughs> really? So he's one of those master detectives I've heard so much about. Hey, what's, what's happening? Nice. I like your hair. Seriously? Sorry I kidnapped you without knowing. Uh, uh, it's fine. I, I appreciate the apology, Mr. Elf. So, like, holy dump. His, his, he's just crazy looking. Anyway, I want to recruit him to our resistance. Huh? Wait, this is much too sudden. And I'm not a master detective. Yeah, this is, this is not the pro operation I thought it was going to be. I know I sprang this on you out of nowhere. But you know what? We're alike. We both have the same kind of darkness lurking deep within our eyes. Uh, Sh Shaichi, I hardly know you. This is the first, like, this is not even a day. Like, what the? It's coming on strong. The darkness is solitude. So, seriously, grab a chair. Let's play some cards. <laughs> huh? You're lost with nowhere to go. Am I wrong? This can be your new home. But we have a task. We have a duty. I mean, I appreciate the company, but... My new home? 
guess you're uncomfortable being around so many people when you don't even know their names. Everyone here is a leader within the organization. They're all irreplaceable to the resistance. Really? We're meeting with the top brass. And I guess the elf boy is professional kidnapper? Ah! While they don't have any powers as extraordinary as master detectives, they each have their own special abilities. <laughs> really? They're all good people. You should talk to them first before deciding to join up or not. Okay. Uh, huh? Right. Hey, let's try talking to everyone. I... Bro, what is this game? This place might actually be more depressing than that squalid dump of an agency. I mean, yeah, but they... They're not messing around. Gosh. And I mean, I don't know, they can't all be bad. I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying. But we're going to save that for next time. Thank you all so much for checking out today's episode of Master Detective Rank Code Archive. We did a lot in the grand scheme of things, but we're just thrust yet again into a crazy situation with a whole, like, gang, literally a gang, a, a resistance gang of new characters who I cannot wait to meet. Is the old man gonna tell us some stories? Oh, I can't wait to hear him. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for the support. See you next time. Bye.